Hey everyone and welcome to Mondays with Madison. I am super excited for our first interview. We are joined by a very special guest, one of my best friends and teammates, Julia Grosso. Hi everyone. I am super excited for this interview. We're gonna dive in a lot about Julia's soccer career and just more about her while also giving you a tour of our facilities. So stay tuned, we got a good video planned. So before we get into the thick of the interview, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes, so my name is Julia Grosso and I play midfielder here at Texas. I'm 20 years old and I'm a junior and I'm from Vancouver, Canada. That's awesome. What was it like growing up in Canada? Um, I feel like everyone thinks it's like super, super cold there all the time, <laughs> which it's not all the time, but it's a really beautiful place to live in and uh, I love it there. That sounds incredible. When did you start playing soccer? I started playing soccer when I was four years old. And why did you get into the sport? Um, so for me, my sister was playing, my older sister, and I of course wanted to follow what she was doing. So, and now here I am. That's awesome. Yeah. So our first stop, we are at the training room. So this is where we get taped up. We have our treatment if we were injured and really kind of where we do all of our rehab. Let's dive into a little bit of your early soccer career. Were you always a midfielder? Yeah, so basically I was a midfielder growing up and then I changed to fullback and as you Americans say, wing back. <laughs> but now I'm back to being a midfielder. That's awesome. And yeah. what do you really love the position? Is that your favorite position you've played? Yeah, it's definitely my favorite position. I just love it because it links in with every other position on the field and I love getting on the ball lots and being creative. Yeah, definitely a playmaker for sure. <laughs> So your club growing up was called Whitecaps. Yes. And what was your favorite memory from Whitecaps? Um, I just like love how close we were with each other, my teammates. I'm so happy of how successful they are now and it's amazing to see. Totally. Mm -hmm. And what are some similarities and differences between Whitecaps and Texas? Um, I would say that we're all very close as a similarity, but the style of play is a little different. Mm -hmm, totally. Yeah. Now we're going to dive more into your Texas career specifically. So just this season, you made the all Big 12 preseason team. You've scored two goals and you were top drawer team of the week. The season isn't even over yet. We still have another half to play. So what are you most excited about for the second half of the season? I think I'm most excited about playing new teams in the spring. We have 11 teams we're playing and they're not in the Big 12, so I feel like that's gonna be so exciting for our team. Yeah, we definitely get to face some new competitions, so that'll be really exciting. So we are at the next stop of our facilities tour. We are in our locker room. As you can see, we still have some senior day decorations up, but this is where our lockers are, where we get pumped before games, and where we just keep all of our stuff and get ready before practice. So now we are going to talk more about your Canadian soccer career. You recently made the senior women's national team, which is such a huge honor, and got to travel to France for the World Cup in 2019, which is what every young girl dreams of doing. So tell us a little bit about that experience and what your favorite part was. Yeah, it was definitely an amazing experience. Um, the girls there were very inspirational and I learned so much from them. I, de I did not play a lot, but I definitely did learn so much and I'm really grateful for that. Totally. So we are at our third stop on the tour, which is our kitchen. We recently got our locker room renovated and this was a new addition to our facilities, which is where we keep all of our snacks and get to refuel before, after, and during practice. Another accomplishment for the women's team that you recently had was you made the Olympic qualifiers team and you have the Olympic roster to try out for coming up. So what are you most looking forward to with the senior team coming up? Um, I feel like I'm just so excited to see them all again. COVID has definitely like stopped me from that. So mm -hmm. I'm so excited to reconnect with the team. Um, so yeah, next up here is the team room. Um, this is where we just hang out and chill before games, after games. We do homework here sometimes, and it's definitely a great spot for all of us. So you have already accomplished some pretty amazing things in your soccer career, whether that's been at Texas or with the Canadian team. What are your goals that you have for yourself for the rest of your career? Yeah, so I want to become a professional soccer player and continue my soccer career, and that's like definitely a goal of mine. Yeah. And doing that, I just want to become the best version of myself and the best soccer player I can be. That's awesome. Yeah. So our last stop on the tour is actually the video room where we filmed the first video. This is where we watch film and come down in between halves of our game and just really review and kind of get to study the game more in depth. 
So now it is time to dive into our first person behind the athlete segment. I'm really excited to get to learn more about you off the field and get our audience to learn more as well. So rumor has it that you are a big Cristiano Ronaldo fan. Yes, I love him. So tell us a little more about that. Yeah, so I think it's because my dad's Portuguese and I'm half Portuguese and that's why I think I love him so much. But I just think he's genuinely like such a good player. And I do happen to know his godfather, well, my dad does. Wow. So I have a couple of autographs that are framed in my room. Amazing. So, um, yeah. I'm jealous for sure. <laughs> and your family is also a big part of your life as yeah. well. Yeah. So I have an older sister who plays soccer as well, but she's more of like the brains of the family. And I have my mom and dad who are amazing people and I love them so much. And they're such an inspiration to me. Awesome. Yeah. I love that. And who is your biggest role model off the field? I would definitely say my dad. I'm sorry, mom. I love you too. <laughs> but my dad like has been my coach ever since I was like four years old and he pushes me every single day on and off the field. And he's just such an amazing person. That's incredible. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this week's Mondays with Madison. Thank you for having me. It was so much fun to get to learn more about you and also show everyone more about Julia and who she is as a player and also as a person off the field. It was super fun also showing everyone our facilities. They were newly renovated, so they were fun to show off for sure. Um, but with that being said, everyone, please like and subscribe this video. Thanks for tuning in. Comment down below. <laughs> and it was just so fun. And until next week. So with that being said, see, see you later, later, sports fans. Julia? Sorry. What was that question again? Okay, it's, I'm just gonna make it up. Go. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah.